Hi everyone, it's Kyle Yong again, and today is the needed drive for the Volkswagen T-Cross. This is one tiny but very chic and very practical car that anyone can get. For today's drive, we've come on all the way to Tagaytay, and I was partnered up with Julian Panlilio of Auto PH. I'm gonna show you a full recap of this day, and I'll be the one who's gonna drive back to Manila. Now let's check out the video. So we're gonna start with Julian who's gonna drive to Tagaytay and I will be the one driving back there. Yes, we have a radio too. Because we have those other cars with us, we are car number five. We first got to try out the passenger experience inside the T-Cross and it was quite comfortable. We made our way to Capian Coffee in Alfonso Cavite and entering the place, I was like, man, this has potential. This place is honestly pretty nice. The T-Cross really does fit in here and of course, I fit in here too. Mm. Now, right there is even like this mini pond thing, which the water's not exactly the clearest, but the overall vibe of the area is indeed pretty nice. And there's even this part here with some like cobblestone things here and this purple T-Cross on it is a great thing to photo shoot on it too. But true beauty is on the inside, so let's make our way up and inside Capian Coffee. And it does not disappoint. Look at this place. Wow, look at all those lush greenness, the furnitures, the ambience are all perfect. And again, this is from Volkswagen Philippines. Thank you very much, Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> Maroons! Maroons! <laughs> now let's make our pots and I'm not particularly good with wood but look at Pablo, he's great with wood. Now I'm not exactly proud of what I did but I mean it is pretty good for a first time thing and they will just ship it to us in a few weeks. And now after that short pottery session, actually that wasn't short but it was rather relaxing. We drove up a little bit further down into Tagaytay and we are now here at Hill Barn Cafe. There's this like really beautiful windmill up top. These three cars lined up. The rest of the cars are, well, all around the parking lot. We're gonna have lunch here. Once again, we're gonna eat before we go down back to Manila. This place is actually quite beautiful. If you are here in the Tagaytay area, you can check this place out. It looks so, what's the word, chic? Just like the T-Cross. And we're gonna go up these stairs right here. Hi, Mom Timmy. <laughs> Reagan's right. Wearing Fish Motoring. Auto PH. This is Yuga Tech slash Yuga Auto and Auto Deal. It's now time for Kalyong food reviews and look at these stunning looking food. These prawns were just fantastic together with that yellow rice. This meat right here, pork, I think it's about okay. And the salmon is also about okay, but the mashed potatoes and the salmon skin were amazing. Now let's drive. I'm quite enjoying the scenic route that we are taking right now. And there's a bunch of twisties on it. And while the T-Cross doesn't exactly have the tightest chassis out there, you know that it is tuned for a comfort oriented ride. It doesn't really make you want to like puke here in the twisties, as Julian can probably affirm, right Julian? Yes, for sure. You don't want to puke? Okay, that's good. Perfect. And that's the thing. That's a great thing about the Volkswagen T-Cross. Volkswagen calls this car to be more than one thing, and it can be a great city cruiser. Hashtag more, Hashtag than, one more than one thing. It makes for a great city cruiser, but in those occasional trips that you want to take it out of town, it can also perform. And on the highway, despite you having a little bit a little bit down on power, the NVH levels are not bad. There is a little bit of noise and all that, but the comfort you to feel, the Euro feel, the way that the car tracks is pretty good. If you want a detailed review of this car, you can check it out in my channel. I'll link it up here. Next thing about the Volkswagen T-Cross is its interior. So this SE trim actually gets a color matched interior. So the trim pieces here in the interior, they're exactly the same, more or less, as the exterior colors. Next thing for 2022, there's a little bit of change. There's a little bit of a trade-off that you get. So the minor update is that they give you now an active info display or an A. AID. It's basically a digital instrument cluster. However, since you do get that, Volkswagen took away one thing, which is the AEB or the Autonomous Emergency Braking. It, I guess it is up to you on which one you would favor more. And 
therefore this update would either be positive or negative for you. So anyway guys, thank you for watching. Once again, this has been Kyle Long who has perfectly enjoy this media drive for the Volkswagen T-Cross. I really do have to give a big shout out to Volkswagen Philippines as this is my debut media drive ever. And I'm also very fortunate to have shared this drive together with Julian Palillo of Auto PH. So do yes. also subscribe to their channel. Yes, I'm the new host. <laughs>